Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Nicole again, and I'm going to be talking to you about the differences in these essential oils and how they really aren't all the same. So the thing is, in the United States, the closest we get is an FDA requirement that in order to label a bottle as pure and therapeutic, the contents of that bottle have to contain just 5% of essential oils. They can put whatever they wish in the rest of the bottle and still label it as pure or therapeutic. That's just 5% of an essential oil and the rest is just filler and it's still labeled as pure or therapeutic. It's kind of sad. So, you know, all of these oils will fall into one of four categories. You have grade A, B, C, and D. So your grade A oils are your therapeutic made from organically grown plants and distilled at low temperatures. Your grade B oils are your food grade, but they can contain synthetics, pesticides, fertilizers, chemicals, extenders, or carrier oils. And your grade C oils are your perfume oils that contain adulterated chemicals. They usually use solvents like, you know, hexane to gain a higher yield per harvest. And these solvents, they can be cancerous and are in many store-bought oils. They can also be diluted 80 to 95% with alcohol. Not really sure that that's what I want in my oils. And then you have grade D oils, which are your floral water, which is, you know, aromatic only, and it's pretty much a byproduct of grade A distillation. So it's your trash water of what's left and sold to companies, which fill 5% of the bottle with it, and the rest with carrier oils, and then they label it as pure. So these grade A oils are pretty much the only true pure oils, and that's what Young Living is. They're grade A oils. Your grade D oils would kind of be like, you know, if you go to your fridge, you grab a glass of orange juice, and then you're diluting it 95% before you drink it. So when you do that, you're not really getting the true, you know, full benefits of the orange juice, are you? So that's why you want grade A oils. They're pure and they're true, and that's what you know you're getting, that oil and just that. So before you purchase an oil, you have to make sure the company owns their own farms, grows their own plants, and controls the entire process from seed to seal. And, you know, that's really one of the things that stands out to me about Young live, Living. They have their own seed to seal process. I mean, it's a promise of integrity. The seed to seal means each plant is hand-weeded. There's no pesticides, herbicides, chemicals, or weed killers ever used. These plants are harvested at their peak, and they're put through vigorous testing, and then they go from the farm directly to your home. It's not a slogan. See to seal, it's a promise. So if you know you want to learn more about Young Living and their process from seed to seal, just go to seedtoseal.com. So I hope you kind of learned a little bit about these oils and why they're not all the same and why you really need to make sure you do your research and find out what you're getting with each of these oils. Thanks guys. Stay tuned for some more videos.